Hey, what's up, Robert here, coming at you with another Windows Tip of the Week, and in this tip, I'm going to be showing you how to delete an undeletable or locked file. Now, this is something I've come across when trying to delete malware from other people's machines. You try deleting certain applications, and all you get is a window showing you that the file is in use or cannot be deleted. The main reason for this is that the Windows Explorer process locks files that are in use, effectively preventing you from deleting them. Usually those files should never be touched, but sometimes certain situations may arise where they must be deleted. Today I'll be showing you one way of doing it by using the command prompt. First, navigate to the location where the undeletable file is. Then if you're using Windows 7, go to the start menu and type in command or cmd. This should then show the command prompt in which you can run. Go back to the location of the locked file and copy its path from the top. Then go back into the command prompt, type DEL, then add a space, then paste the path to the file's location. Add a backslash and type in the file name. Hit enter and watch the file get deleted. Now there are other ways of doing this, including freeware from filehippo.com called Unlocker that does the same thing, but actually allows you to delete files straight from their context menu. So there you have it, next time you're stuck trying to delete a file that won't delete, you know what to do. That's it for this week's Windows Tip, hopefully you found it useful. You can always subscribe to this channel for free weekly tips and tutorials just like this one. If you have any suggestions for Windows Tips, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. Again, I hope this helped, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.